epic ass cruise happening down here. And new one here. I haven't actually started shooting anything for my next video yet because unlike this guy here, I don't really plan anything. <laughs> so this is like a triangle of YouTubers here now. So this the is square Bill. of YouTubers is gone. AKA Filthy Bill. So this is, this is Boxer from Home TV. And, and, and who we got here? Let's both shoot him at the same time. <laughs> this is, this is the Iron Empire is himself. <laughs> the money and we're just out cruising right around in Phil's 300 horsepower. Falcon. Yeah, I don't think that. Stick away from my car, please. So is that three? <laughs> three. Three. Be gentle. Three hundred horsepower, Phil. At idle. <laughs> and then I got this thing over here. You can't see it because it's really dark at the moment. You're not even so what is going on? We're doing this humongous car cruise here. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is this is Adelaide car scene. Alrighty, it's Sunday and just snuck in here because Cam's just in doing a bit of paperwork and bits and pieces. Managed to get him to jump on and weld up my dump pipe, which is cool. So, um, had a pretty cool night last night. Went for a bit of a cruise, caught up with um, Phil, Filthy Builds. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, I'll put the link below. Also, Charlie Dixon and Mark from The On Empire. So, really good guys, all doing the YouTube thing now, which is cool. So, um, hopefully, you're going to catch up with Phil again tomorrow check out his new project that he's doing which is super cool he's only just started a youtube channel but he's just one of those guys that makes cool stuff so it, uh, i think it'll get pretty popular pretty quick but um yeah definitely check out phil mark and charlie those who don't know I had charlie briefly in a video before he's one of australia's best footy players but also just a really good dude loves his cars so yeah check him out too but this guy over here cam we have just fired off a youtube channel for him as well which is uh, team solid it's going to be just a bit of um, stuff about what solid mechanical and engineering does here, some car features and bits and pieces, just updates. No real plan yet, but um, Cam's pretty good on camera, so Cam on Cam. But um, yeah, we'll get this welded up, get it wrapped up with this new Raceworks stuff. We've got the Raceworks uh, heat wrap and the little bands to hold it in place, which are like a black metal zip tie. They're pretty cool. And um, yeah, going to get that back on the car and then uh, just keep chipping away at the little bits and pieces to get this thing running. It's Cam in a V-band. D is for Derek. He's the guy that comments on every Hoon TV video. And L is for Louis. No pressure. No, I reckon about 20 PSI. Mickey Thompson ET Streets. 29 by 15 by 15. Give us a big Hoon TV. Go Hoon TV! No, no, just like Hoon oh. TV. Like, Hoon TV. Get it. It's terrible. Get it good. <laughs> what are you banging on about? He's a fantastic welder, fabricator, and blacksmith. Here I am just enjoying my Sure Shot coffee. Thanks, Sean. And uh, I'm going to do a quick wrap around on this car because I'm going to smash out a video tonight because tomorrow I'm heading to Bathurst, which is freaking excellent. It's not often that you're heading to Bathurst in February for the V8s. Uh, Bathurst 12 hours usually on about this time, but um, this year it's all kind of changed. So no Adelaide 500, it's Bathurst 500. So I'm gonna be heading there in the morning. But right now, here's what's going on with the car. Well, an air filter sitting there at the moment. It's not really supposed to be there because it's gonna go in the box the surrounding where all that squall that I haven't cleaned up is yet, but that's all there. 
the new wastegate, as you would have seen in the last video, is all in and done. Got the uh, heat wrap there from Raceworks on the dump pipe. All of the EGTs from Howtech are in. Also, uh, thanks to Burson, we've got some uh, heat wrap around the uh, hot side pipe there on the inner cooler. So it's still waiting on, we've got a PWR, got a PWR radiator coming, that should be here next week hopefully. Got uh, Trav's really nice bit of gear there, that's all on as you would have seen before. But the main thing that's happened is the EGTs are all in, I'll just put my coffee down. And still yet to give us a final tidy up in here but Everything's all in there now, I've got the can hub in and the TCA is all in. Uh, ECU is unplugged at the moment, obviously, just because I've uh, got a few things happening. So just uh, just for safety's sake, I'm sure it'll be fine, but um, it's probably a thing to do when you are working on your cars, just um, keep things unplugged when you don't need them plugged in. It's a pro tip from Boxer. Get my coffee again. On the back here, we have and I've got these through Burson Auto Parts. I've got the Mickey Thompson ET Streets. They're a radial tyre, so I can use them at the drags, but I also got them for roll racing. The wheels on the car are actually the welds that were on it before, but I um, speed blasted them and painted them. Uh, did them myself. I was going to get them done professionally, but um, I just thought, you know what, what's the worst that can happen? If they don't come out that well, then I'll just speed blast them again and then give them to somebody. But I'm pretty happy with the finish, they're just like a satin black. For the tyres here, you can see they're a 29 by 15 on a 15 inch rim, and they're quite fat. Pretty happy with that. Bit of stuff on the go, still waiting on our mate to come and do the wiring on the throttle and the um, pedal, but uh, that won't be too big of a job. Gonna make a few changes to the fuel lines and maybe the fuel system, yeah, got an option there, which is really cool. Yeah, other than that, um, the one other big thing, and I will unbox this, because unboxing is pretty cool, is thanks to the guys from Tuna's Edge in Melbourne, not the pretty girl on the wall there in the calendar, but this is a Reed case. So for those that don't know what a Reed case is, Reed Racing are a company in America that make SFI transmission housings and other bits and pieces, but um, Basically, instead of a regular Turbo 400 that's in the car, it is a full built Turbo 400 with a trans brake and all the fruit and um, a billet TCE converter behind it. But now, after I pour this junk out, we have this very sexy bit of gear here. So, this is a proper reed case which will allow me to be able to really wail on this thing when it comes to launching the trans brake and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, by all accounts, everyone that runs these, you never hear anything bad about these because they are an absolute work of art and strong as hell. So on top of that, we have in here an Aussie made product, which is very cool, from Craig down at Torque Power in Melbourne. This is also sourced through Tuna's Edge. Um, they are a, a dealer of his. This is actually a Barra to read SFI bell housing, really nice bit of gear. The car's actually already got one in it now, but it is to suit the normal Turbo 400 housing. So you see there, Torque Power. So he's um, also who the guy, Torque Power, um, make the big cubic inch Holden 5 litre bearing engines. If you uh, check them out, I'll put the link below. And also in here is the, um, the Reed SFI extension housing there, which goes on the back very very nice so i am planning on going fast in this car now or at least trying to obviously the drag car is only as good as the setup and the tuning and all that sort of stuff not to mention the driver arthur and todd and all the guys down the tuner's edge big thanks to them yeah so this is all gonna head up to mv automatic soon where mike who's a very good friend and an absolute guru with automatic transmissions is gonna uh, drop all the guts out of the current one and stick them in this one so very nice. Here's Louie. Hey! Hey! See if he's got another Hoon TV in him. Hey! Get another Hoon TV in you. We'll be shy this time. Like Hoon TV! Yeah, it was terrible. Compared to the last one. Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, but Simmons. Anyway, uh, yeah, so 
that's happening. Got a couple of things happening bike-wise as well. Um, not really a lot of time at the moment to work on the bikes, but I've um, been just chipping away doing little bits and pieces on the track bike to get that back together. Um, the Aryan bike, that's still on the cards, but I'm just not working on it at the moment because I don't have time. But um, the Land Cruiser, Frank the Tank, got a couple of bits happening soon. Got a new muffler coming for it, but um, uh, other than that, uh, got a fun video we're just planning at the moment with Burson. So, uh, Looking forward to getting stuck into that and making that happen. That'll happen in the next few weeks. So um, stay tuned. Really appreciate you watching. Right now we're just scraping on the edge of 50,000 subscribers. So um, if you're not subscribed, I'm not going to beg you to subscribe because it's your own choice. But if you're not subscribed and you really like what you're seeing, and remember, hit the little notification bell because that really helps too. Home TV. Yeah. Home TV. Home TV. Oh, I need a good montage of these. Who's No. Alright, I'm out.